I have to get past those vines somehow. I met someone I liked. How would I know if they, uh, liked me too? Is there someone? I. no. I was just curious. Actually, doesn't matter. It's. doesn't matter. I've spent time in Asgard. It's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not a Sif I knew. Rold. We will finish later. Incoming! 
Another mystery crystal. Lad, am I right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat? Yeah, it was great. She wants to be a Valkyrie one day, and she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced, but I'm not sure how much she believes me. It didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. Mimir, what were you saying earlier about Sif not being a good mother when you knew her? It's quite true, if I'm being frank. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or, just as brutally, raising those boys. What do you mean? Oh, little brother. I know you didn't have an easy childhood, but you can't fathom how much worse it can get. Imagine learning discipline by having thrashed into him time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on him. A poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance, leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him, but I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. Sif goes straight and hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi that night he found us. Oh, that's a deft guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them, truly. If go much further, we'll be right on top of the ogre. Better be sure we're ready. We fight! Yeah, I got that! Watch your right! Let's go after it. 
That's my kill. You can be with your son now. Thank you. I can't wait to see his face again. I'll give him this gift and tell him about the brave people who helped me. Now you can help us. What did you see that day? I was at the meat hall. Thor was there. He had a strange drinking companion. Some sort of creature, the likes of which I'd never seen. It had this barrel of meat that seemed to never go empty. What were they doing? Getting blind drunk from the looks of it. They were passing drinks around. Rough. Everyone had a temple too many. But Thor, he was by far the drunkest of any man there that day. Mumir, what do you make of this? Thor has always loved a strong drink with questionable company. But I've never heard any word of his creature companion. This isn't a lot to go on, I'm afraid. Well, we know one thing. Thor was totally drunk in the valley of the story. There is still much we do not know. And whether your mother was involved remains unclear. Unless my eyes deceive me, that seems to be the stag of summer. Is it hot or is it just my sizzling personality? Nah, it's you, Stag. <gasps> Can we go already? So this is where those tracks led. Alka! <laughs> 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 